Hey guys, uh, in the second part, um, first part I was just explaining the how the UI really works. In the second part, we were looking at into the my controller, and then um, I was about to show you the view, the register view right here. Um, and here is my view model, register view model. The the important thing to all these are like basic property of the ASP.NBC. You know, I'm not gonna explain to you but this is the most important property uh, related to the capsule images so what I have done here is expose a distant property called capsule verification code and of course and, and decorated the attribute added some attribute that is required and all those things and since it's required field the other thing is of course you know very simple um, the information property that I had to get grab from the user so it's not really relevant in terms of capsule images. This is the only property from this class that is relevant to capsule image, okay? And then in my view, in my register view, so what I have done is something like this. Very first thing I have done here, all the other property is not that relevant. It's not important to, to for this um, little demo only thing is important is this bit of code here like I told you before you know so basically I have embedded I have the iframe inside my deep container and I give an ID uh, and the, to my iframe and then the source of the iframe would be the 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 accent method that it will be located in my uh, register uh, controller I'll show you that uh, account controller that I will show you later and this is the name of the accent method okay and then the accent method I can pass some parameter I thought like hey um, you can this is kind of like uh, my I thought about I'll show you the actual class you know you can pass so this this way you can set it the how the width and height and the how many character you would like to have for example here by default I have eight characters right now if I decide to have like five whatever character my business dictate I can with that many character it automatically works so which is kind of cool and you can you know add some parameter right now this is only three parameter it takes but you can customize as you need okay and then I just some little style to my iframe um, I don't like to have any border and then just do and always good idea to have uh, scrolling no to the eye print means you know like it's it it to render as if it's not uh, if you by looking if you're not really a developer or maybe you don't know whether it's an iframe or just a button or just the images or whatever that that's the whole point of it, having no scrolling okay that is all I have to do in iframe so let's look at into this accent method in my um, in my uh, controller that is here in my uh, account controller I have a little method li little accent method to, to, to oh yeah right there see here is the this is the HTTP gate and allow anonymous because I had to you know have this one this attribute here because all of these classes are role based because I have a bunch of roles here uh, it has to be authorized without having that it by default all whole classes is the authorized attribute that means like you have to be authenticated user to um, to use it that's why in there I had to have that this uh, attribute set I mean this uh, annotation decorated into my uh, CAPTCHA image result so you can see this is my action method and that's what you see in here so so capture images and I'm passing some additional attribute to this one okay so as you can see this guy takes width and the height and the different total number of characters and some optional parameter which I haven't used it here and all I'm doing right now is basically creating the instance of this guy called capture image result which is a class I'll show you later um just basically returning this okay 
let's look at into our capsule image result class which I have inside this folder called capsule image results okay the, so here of course you know I'm, I'm basically creating a class inheriting from action results okay and I decided to expose some um, I have my constructor here this constructor takes three parameters the width and the height and the total characters and the whatever data comes in when the new instance of this class created I set it into a local variables okay and so most important thing right now once because the whole point of inheriting this one is so that I can modify you know this if you go inside the action results class it has a one uh, abstract method big definition right here here's our uh, action result and see this is abstract so basically we can as that means like we can modify this in our like the way we would like our, our code to work right so once all of this is defined so I have now I basically override the execute result method here of course you know that image the capsule image is created in, in .NET using the bitmap so if I have a two lines of code here I have a little private method to that private method I pass the context that coming in you know provided by provided by the context and hey here is the context based on that I go ahead and create a bitmap information to me once the bitmap comes in now what I have to give the raw data to write the, the bitmap into the you know into the into the browser okay so let's look at into the first method create bitmap it's it's a, it's not that whole lot of code so I create a new instance of bitmap so this this is basically you know whatever I pass to width and the height and this is just the format of the pixel format there are a bunch of them and I choose that the one that is kind of relevant here and then I create an instance of a graphics by calling the static method and pass the pass the bitmap in some of these um, attribute of the bitmap and I would like to have I would like to clear the bitmap image with a certain color so that's why I would like to use this color here the reason I clear with that um, that color is it's kind of nice so the and here I have a little method called get color um, the definition what this color does this method does I pass the hex value here here and this the color translator knows how to convert the hex value into this drawing the color um, color object from the drawing namespace that is that and then of course once that is done I have to now basically generate the, the string that is displayed here so that I, I have to generate that this character so every time I generate this one it's, a, it's a, as you can see it is very dynamic so it is based and then let's look it into that little method here that is done by a method called git capture text and then see I would like to control how many characters I would like to have displayed by my capsule, so that's why I pass this uh, total character to be displayed to this little private method here. So what this method does is, um, it's very simple. So whole idea is to grab a random character, random um, this many character on each each time it is called. So my total combination right now, I grab everything from alphanumeric characters right and so basically go through each of them here on my traditional for loop and each iteration basically right here grabbing a random random character yeah that's all I'm doing this is this little block of code right here is to grab the random characters one at a time it's basically going to run this many iteration and on each iteration basically you know do a concatenation of the character that is selected and once that is all done it's going to return and then of course once that this guy I have once I have the random string it is very important that I have to store that information into the session or somehow 
I have to know that information, right? So for that purpose, 